Welcome to the French Snoofy. I'm Erin McDonald. Today I'm going to make a North African or a Middle Eastern classic dish, shakshuka. And I absolutely love it. It's a great uh, vegetarian dish and I really enjoy the freshness that comes from it. So um, I'm going to show you how it's done. There's many different varieties of shakshuka, but this is a classic North African style that I'm making today. So I just have some onions that I've chopped and they're down into my pan of olive oil. And I'm going to get on to some peppers because peppers and tomatoes and onions are the base of this dish. So I'm gonna move on to quickly a red, beautiful ripe red pepper. So just top off the head and then I'm just gonna take off all the sides of the pepper. A quick way actually is to just run your knife around the pepper so you kind of get that little bit out because you really can't do much with that center bit. So there you go, just discard of that. I'm just gonna chop my pepper. Um, in a lot of the places that make shakshuka, they like to keep their peppers a little bit chunky. And I as well like my peppers a little bit chunky because it makes a nice bite. So again, it's not all mushed up, you get a nice flavor. If you get some of the seeds of the peppers, that's fine as well, because they're all gonna break down. They're not hot. The seeds of, of these bell peppers are never spicy. The ones you wanna look out for, of course, are jalapenos, or if you're chopping uh, some type of a, a hot pepper like that. So get that down because we want everything to be softened. So it's going to be cooking up for a couple of minutes. So might as well just get that moving around while I move on to the rest. Really nice here. You can smell the onions and you can smell the peppers, which is great. I'm just going to move on to the rest of my red, beautiful bell pepper. Again, just some nice chops. So you have nice chunky red peppers. Perfect. You can use green if you want. I just chose not to use green today, but green would be absolutely fine as well. Get that down. Now we're going to move on to our yellow pepper. Perfect. And again, see that's really perfect when that falls out like that. I mean, I can use this obviously later on, but there's enough pepper in the small pan right now. But I try not to waste any of my pepper. So this part is really not edible. I, I, you can't use it that. But when the top comes out like that, this is absolutely perfect. So you can use that, of course. It's nice and sweet. It's exactly the same consistency of the rest of your yellow pepper. So don't waste any of that. Get it all down in there. Perfect. Again, we're just going to move it around. Now at this point, I like to season as I go. There's quite a bit of things in the pan. We have onion, red pepper, and yellow pepper. So now I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And the salt is going to help to soften my vegetables some more. So as you go, just season as you go. There you go. Take the side off. And then if you want to just roll it around like that. Perfect. Watch out for your fingers you can get that center bit out. And then just chop off the end. This is beautiful and completely edible. And then you're just left with that, so very little waste. And again, we're gonna chop our nice yellow peppers. Perfect. Nice and crisp and vibrant and colorful. Get that down. Perfect. Nice, big, hearty chunks of peppers here. So you can see pepper is really a nice star of this dish. And I really like peppers, all kinds of peppers. <laughs> so let's get that down. And just a little bit more of that remaining yellow pepper. Almost done with our pepper mixture here. And shakshuka actually means mixture in Arabic. So I can see, or I I assume this is where the name shakshuka came from because it is a mixture of nice peppers and onion and tomatoes, which we're gonna move on to in just a minute as this softens up. So again, I went in with some nice salt earlier and I wanna go in with a little bit more later, but for now, the salt that's in there is gonna coat my yellow peppers as well as my red peppers, perfect. Now, another classic ingredient of shakshuka is cumin. And I really love cumin. And I'm just gonna turn up my heat a little bit more because now the pan is quite full. So I don't want it to start to get soggy and steam. So again, cumin, finely ground cumin. I love cumin, it's a classic of this dish. So you have to have it if you're gonna make shakshuka. So get a good amount, 
of that beautiful smoky cumin. And I also have cumin seeds. If you want to take the time and smoke the seeds in a dry pan first and then grind it, that would be delicious too. But today I'm just going in with some nice cumin. Let me just loosen that up. There you go, now she's coming out. Perfect. We're gonna go in a little bit more later with some more cumin. As I said, I like to season as I go. So just move that all around the pan. You can really smell the cumin. You can smell those peppers. Really, really pretty and beautiful. Again, this is a great vegetarian meal. I'm also gonna go in with some nice cracked black pepper. Goes really nice. Season everything really, really well here. So just move that around so that your pepper is coating all of everything. And I have some nice Italian chopped tomatoes. These are already chopped in the can. They're perfect. And they're also canned when they're ripest. So they have so much more flavor than if you just chopped up a tomato. Buy the can of chopped tomatoes for this recipe. Trust me, what's in here you can't compare to a fresh tomato. So you're gonna get the nice, beautiful chopped tomatoes down. Really nice into my pan like this. Now that's quite a bit of tomatoes and I need to season again. So let me just give this a swirl around just like so. Very nice. And I'm going to go in with a little bit more salt. There we go. Just like that and some more smoky, beautiful, fresh, finely ground cumin. There we go. You wanna get a lot of this cumin. Cumin and the peppers are the main ingredients. So get a good amount of that cumin. It's really beautiful. Now, this is bubbling up. Again, I want everything to soften. So just go for a couple more minutes until everything is a little bit more softer and just move it around like so. And this would be really beautiful. You know, you can have this for dinner if you want it. I mean, if you wanna go a lighter version, if you don't have to have something really heavy for dinner, because we're gonna incorporate some eggs into this mixture and it's gonna be really, really lovely and hearty. So if you wanna have a light dinner, this would be perfect as well. Now, at this point, what I wanna do is just make a little bed. So I'm gonna make a little hole, just kind of in the center like this. And I'm gonna do three, so I'm gonna kind of open it up a little bit right there. There we go, just make a little hole, three holes. Depending on the side of the size of the portion you wanna make, maybe you have a really big pan or a huge skillet and you wanna do a big family dinner, this would be great as well. So I'm just gonna do three eggs. You have some nice protein here going in. And get that down into that little well that you made like that. So there's one. We're gonna go in with another one. And just make sure that I got a little, a little well going on there. Uh -huh. There we go. Down in there. Perfect. Two. Not. I haven't broken any yolks yet, so we're good. And even if it breaks, it doesn't really matter. But I prefer to enjoy my shakshuka with the yolk nice and soft. So it's all about personal preference. So I'm gonna go in with my third one. Third time's a charm. There we go, perfect, done. Now, I do like to have my yolk nice and runny for the shakshuka, but um, I don't really like that gelatinous runny yolk part. Um, not yolk part, but the white part. So I really don't um, like that. What I like to do though, in order to make sure that um, the whites are nice and cooked is to basically just take a bit of your tomato and pepper mixture and kind of spoon it over. If you can see what I'm doing here, I'm spooning it over the whites so that the whites are getting cooked and coated with that hot tomato sauce, but I'm not covering the yolks. So let's just get in there, try and get some of that hot mixture over my egg whites. Now you wanna watch the heat here as well, because you don't want it to burn. It wouldn't be good. Let's just get some of that more like that. And they're all nestled away into their own little comfy little blanket 
of beautiful peppers and onions and tomatoes and cumin and all that beautifulness. So now I'm just gonna leave that go for around two or three minutes more. By the way that this is going, this is gonna cook up really fast. I'm gonna go in with a tiny little pinch of some nice flaky salt. This time I'm just going over the yolks, just on top of the yolks because they went in last, so there's no seasoning on the yolks. Just over the yolks, nothing else. Perfect, and again, with some nice, beautiful cumin. I'm actually gonna take some onto my fingers this time and just sprinkle it onto the yolks, just like so. Now another minute and that's gonna be ready to go. Another addition that you could do with this if you had some nice crusty bread, I know this is very popular in Israel and that's how they have it. They'll have it for dinner, they'll have it for lunch. I mean, this would even be good for a little midnight snack. It's healthy and you know, it didn't take me that long. You see, I'm cooking this right in front of you. So just another minute for this. And you can see that the whites are actually coming up now. So as I said and mentioned, by covering the whites with a beautiful sauce, it's cooking my whites completely, so that way I don't have none of that gelatinous, runny white that I don't think anybody <laughs> really likes. I know I don't. So let me just wipe my board. And another thing that I like to do with my shakshuka is that it's so pretty like this is that you can actually serve it in the pan that you cook it in. If you had a large pan with a cover, you could also cover it until it was done, but just for a couple of minutes, I like to keep mine uncovered because I don't want it to burn on the bottom. And this way, I can keep an eye on the temperature. So I'm just gonna turn off my heat now, just like that. And I can smell the cumin, I can smell the tomatoes, I can smell the peppers. This is a really, really beautiful, shakshuka dish, Middle Eastern, North African. I don't know who wants to take the credit for it, but it is popular throughout the Middle East. And there we go. I would just serve it on a nice board like this. And as I said, maybe with some type of old fashioned country bread and butter would be lovely. And there you have a really nice Middle Eastern dish, shakshuka. I hope that you give it a try sometime. Enjoy.